Hey guys, I'm going to show y'all something cool today. Alright? I love this song. Anyway, I got to assemble these pieces today, and I don't have the right size oh, uh, jump rings. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I know from experience, now this is an old Dremel bit at uh, um, I had laying around, it's all worn out, but I do know from experience that this piece is uh, three millimeters, and that's the size jump rings I need to uh, put these lovely earrings together. Okay, now I've already pre-polished a piece of uh, 24 gauge wire. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a little piece here and grab it with my thumb. And we want to wrap this around here. Just like that. You want to take these here. All right. And put it in your pin vise about halfway. There you go. Now, put your safety glasses on. Okay, you want to line it up, use your... Okay, what you want to do is lay your hand down here on your pin vise. Okay, that's going to keep that steady. Alright, and rest it on their hand. And 
line these up. And just slowly cut. It cut all of them, and this is extremely hot, so make sure you grab them with a pair of pliers. Okay. Okay, we quenched these off now, now it's time to remove them. jump rings here. And what's nice about these is they have nice clean cut. Let me see if I can get it better here. It has a nice clean Nice clean cut. So when you put these together, See now we have a nice, nice jump ring here. Well that's just an easy way to make a bunch of jump rings. Now I'm going to go ahead and seal these with Protecta Clear. Let them dry. There we go. All right. That's just a quick and easy way to use uh, old Dremble bits, you know, to make jump rings all right guys well have a great day and that's the tip of the day all right guys later gators bye